when patients and clinicians want to make decisions on the basis of science, of scientific studies, they will look at those scientific studies and try to make sense of them to make, to make those decisions. If those studies are not asking the questions that matter to patients and are not measuring um, the outcomes that matter to patients, clinicians will ha and patients will have to imagine what the effect of those treatments will be on those outcomes. And imagining uh, what the effect of treatments will be on those outcomes, they will make mistakes. And people will make decisions that otherwise they wouldn't make if they knew what the true effect of treatment was on those outcomes. And there are many examples recently of, of diabetes drugs, for instance. One case that comes to mind is rosiglitazone, which is a diabetes drug that, in fact, makes sugars better, but increases your risk of heart failure, increases your risk of heart attacks, given what we know about the, the drug to date. Uh, it may increase your risk of, of um, an eye problem called macular edema. It may increase your risk of osteoporosis. Well, patients with diabetes don't need any more problems. They have enough with what they have. So they will like their diabetes medications not to cause additional problems, but that would not be sufficient. Those medications should also make their, them feel better, live longer, and live without the complications of diabetes. Turns out the current clinical trials and the ones that are ongoing are unlikely to answer the those questions in the near term. That situation has to change. So we, we are trying to raise awareness with this study of this situation, the fact that the research enterprise has veered off ways, not answering the questions that matter to patients. And we're hoping that there will be a consensus that will come from this among all the people involved in that research, all the clinical trial is, the patient advocacy groups, the patient organizations, um, that eventually they will all come together and say, here are the outcomes that we ought to be measuring in all these clinical trials. Make sure that we know that for all of interventions, we'll know what impact do they have and whether patients live longer, feel better, or are able to live without the burden of complications and the burden of treatment. Once we get to that point, I think we'll have achieved our goal.